Hello, Baker friends. I am here at Lidl. Well, I don't know how you pronounce it. You might pronounce it Lidl or Little. I pronounce it Lidl. <laughs> I am here today to do a little grocery shopping for baking because it's important that when we're baking that we get our baking ingredients at reasonable prices. And this place definitely has reasonable prices. So let's go take a look. Here's how Lidl stores their sugar and flour stacked on the floor. Flour is 238, sugar 314, very affordable. Here we've got vegetable oil for 299 each, and then we have olive oil for 599, which is also an affordable price. As you see, there's lots of different cooking sprays to choose from, ranging in prices. There's the olive oil spray, there's coconut even, and here's Crisco for $4.99 a package. Then you've got different things like ghee. Okay, cornstarch, baking soda, very affordable. Active dry yeast, $1.88, and Aldi brand for $1.14 a pack of three. Then you've got your baking cocoa for $2.29. Oh, somebody spilled some powdered sugar. You've got powdered sugar and brown sugar down here and then you've even got organic brown sugar which i thought was a great addition for chocolate chips they're 2.97 a pack which is fantastic because in the grocery store they're closer to six dollars they have a wide array to choose from here you've got your evaporated milk for $1.22 and your sweetened condensed milk for $1.99 which is about average but affordable and then you've got all types of nuts here that you can bake with that range in price because packaging ranges from smaller to large. You've got your marshmallows, your large marshmallows and your minis for $0.95 cents a bag. Then here we've got organic and regular maple syrup. Again, very affordable in price. We've got ground nutmeg for $1.99 and ground cinnamon, which was 79 cents. Then you've got your pumpkin pie spice for $1.99 each. Here I found some fun things, not really baking related, but some fun uh, fall items from pumpkin bread to pumpkin beer, which I thought was very interesting. And then you've got canned pumpkin for $1.39. As we scroll over this way, we've got fall flavored coffee pods and cookies. Maple coated popcorn, which actually looked delicious. And maple cookies. Here I am packing up all of my finds in the back of my Jeep. Okay, so I did really well. I didn't need to do a big haul because my pantry is pretty well stocked right now, so I only needed a few things. Um, as you can see by the video of me packing up the groceries, I had to get these gel pens for my daughter. I just had to have them. Or actually, maybe she had to have them. Um, they were a really good price too. I have, my, I have my receipt right here. So the gel pens were $4.99. And um, I think she's gonna love those. So I did pick up a couple of other things that I needed that I did not show you. So the ground cinnamon was 79 cents a container, so I got two of those. I got the mini chocolate chips. They were $2.97 each package. Um, in the grocery store, one package was $6. So I went ahead and got two of those. I got a, a package of flour that was $2.38. I got a package of sugar, which was $3.14. And these are the regular full-size packages, like four pounds of, I believe the sugar was four pounds and the flour was five. Um, I did pick up the Fleischmann's yeast at $1.88. They did have Aldi yeast that was $1.14, but the cinnamon rolls that I make with the yeast, I've always just used this particular brand, so I stuck with it. I picked up a package of raw almonds that was $5.45 at the grocery store. These are eight or nine dollars a package. 
and again the gel pens I picked up the organic maple syrup which was four dollars and ninety nine cents and some rice cakes for the husband they were three dollars and forty eight cents so all together with tax I spent thirty four dollars and seventy seven cents now if I was coming to do like a haul for just like flour and sugar and you know things like that and I didn't pick up gel pens and rice cakes um, it's definitely the place to go to save money on your baking supplies so I hope that you have enjoyed our trip today and I hope that if you have one near you you give it a try see you soon budget baking adventures right here